In this video, we will be talking about a one of a kind formula called the molecular formula. I am pretty sure you guys have heard about it numerous times. But can you describe it for me? Well, by definition, the formula of a substance that is based on the actual molecule is called a molecular formula. It consists of chemical symbols of the elements with numeric subscripts describing the number of atoms for each element present in that molecule. Pretty simple, right? For example, the molecular formula of benzene is C6H6. This formula shows C and H are the constituent elements and subscript 6 is the number of atoms of a particular element. The same goes for a molecule of glucose. Its molecular formula is C6H12O6. From what we already know, the empirical formula for benzene and glucose would be something like CH and CH2O respectively. This simply means that the molecular formula is the multiple of the empirical formula. Therefore, it can be written as molecular formula equals to N multiplied by empirical formula. Here, N would be a simple integer. Let me tell you that there are numerous molecules and compounds whose empirical and molecular formula are alike. For example, water which has two atoms of hydrogen and one atom of oxygen. This is its molecular formula. But since it cannot be simplified any further, hence it is also the empirical formula of water. Quite easy, right? In the same way, there is carbon dioxide and ammonia, both of which have the same empirical and molecular formula. In these cases, the value of n is 1. Remember, n, which is a simple integer, is basically the ratio of molecular mass and the empirical formula mass of a substance. It can be calculated by the formula n equals to molecular mass divided by empirical formula mass.